Hey guys, it's Teresa Shaye from Fly Fierce Fab. I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back at the jump off. <laughs> Um, I disappeared for a little minute here. I needed to um, focus on my last semester in college. Now that I have done that and completed that, I am back at it again with some new videos and I will do like a life update type of video sometime soon. But anyway, in today's video, I am doing a review and demo of something that just came in the mail this morning and I'm so so excited about this. It is the P. Louise uh, base in the shade number 5. So I'm sure you guys all know who P. Louise Makeup Academy is. They are like a makeup academy based in the UK and they do some bomb makeup looks. The owner of the academy and all the artists are just super duper talented. I guarantee you that if you go and scroll on social media, especially Instagram, you'll recognize their work right away because they have um, a signature style which like I said is super polished and super glam and that is why I and so many others love them. So Paige, the owner of P. Louise Makeup Academy, has been developing a lot of cosmetic products um, such as the base which has gotten a lot of buzz on social media. Um, I know that they released a palette as well which I have yet to get my hands on and they also have some pigments and things like that. So when the base first came out a few months ago it just came in one shade which was called um, Rumor but I also did hear whisperings that she was going to um, release more shades especially like deep shades for a woman of color. Okay, so on, I'm on the P. Louise Makeup Academy website on my phone and the base comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, it actually comes in seven different shades. The one that I have being the darkest, and I ordered it during the pre-order. I, <laughs> I was actually in pre-calculus when the pre-order dropped, and I definitely hopped right on my phone to order the base. But kids, if you're in school, focus. Don't be on the internet and buying things. And it retails for £10. So of course I'm saying pounds here because that is the currency that is used over in the UK. Mind you, I am in the United States. So the base itself was £10, and I believe worldwide shipping is like £9 or something like that. So at the end of the day, when it was all said and done, for the base and for the shipping, um, I wound up paying like $29 for the base. So that is one little minor complaint that I have. It's like, why don't stuff from the UK be so expensive? Because by the time you pay for shipping and then when that like when the pounds converts to dollars it kind of hits you exactly how much you're spending and that's not like really for the makeup academy it's just ordering stuff from the UK in general especially if you're in the US girl that shipping be expensive and it'll get you real quick so I wanted to try the base because I knew it was going to be amazing and then also to support um, Paige like I said she's the owner of the makeup academy um, if you guys have been following me for a minute on, social, on my social media then you know that I have done a lot of their online live training courses um, that people Louise offers on their website. So if you're really serious about doing makeup, if you're a makeup artist, or if you really just want to learn how to get better at doing your own makeup, I definitely would encourage you guys to check out those online classes. Um, I will post a few pictures of some of the recreations I did during the course of that live training. Like I said, it's really great. You learn so much. Um, you'll, there's usually like an artist who is um, going through the who's doing a particular makeup look and they're super detailed and then Paige herself will um, explain everything step by step and you learn so much and you learn so much I know it's something that definitely helped me grow a lot and just get a lot better at makeup what I do want to mention is P. Louise Makeup Academy specifically Paige was the one who put everybody on to using the MAC Select cover-up as like an eyeshadow base and not setting it to get like the most pigmentation out of your eyeshadows. So because of that I had been using the MAC Select cover-up in the shade NW35 as an eyeshadow base and she always says to like pat it to set it and then apply your shadows on top of that. I'm not here to give away all the P. Louise tips and tricks by the way. If you want to learn all that you need to take the lab course. But um, I am just going to mention that because I know that it's been mentioned a lot on social media and I think they've said it on their Instagram too so I'm pretty sure that's okay. Anywho. <laughs> um, when I just went to look for this on the MAC website because I couldn't remember how much I paid, I one saw that it was originally like $22, but I'm also seeing now that it's sold out everywhere and there's only one shade available. So I'm wondering if maybe this is actually being discontinued like I had kind of heard online. I don't really know. All I know is it seems to be sold out on the MAC website, um, online at Nordstrom's and at uh, Macy's too, I think. so. I don't know. Okay, so comparing the P. Louise base to MAC Select cover-up, 
I would say that this one is more liquidy and kind of runny, whereas the P. Louise base is definitely thicker. It feels tacky when you're applying it. It's really going to just like grip your eyeshadows and keep it there. When I used it underneath my eyes as a base, I did notice that when I went to put concealer on top after, um, it was a little hard to blend out on top. Like I felt like there was some tugging going on and I think it it, it's like that gripping action that I kind of spoke of early with the eyeshadows. So I feel like it looks pretty good underneath my eyes considering the fact that I did not color correct. I just used the base, then foundation, and then my concealer. So I think it looks pretty good. So on the back of the MAC packaging it says that you get um, 10 milliliters of the Select Cover Up, which is 0.33 fluid ounces. And on the P. Louise base, it says that you actually get 15 milliliters, and that is 0.504 fluid ounces. So you actually get more in the base um, than you do in the Select Cover Up. But okay, I feel like I'm rambling. Let's focus here. This video is all about that base. Let's get into it. And I'm now going to go in with the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor number 5. And then to apply, I'm going to use the Zoeva um, concealer brush, the number 144. Um, I am going to talk like a little bit right now as I'm applying the base, but the rest of this is going to just be a voiceover. So opening it up, and from what I hear, a little goes a long way, so I don't want to get too happy with it. Okay, that's a nice chocolate girl friendly shade. And like I said, this is the darkest uh, shade that the base is currently available in. So as you guys can see, I'm carving out underneath my brow first. Fun fact, when the base came in the mail yesterday, um, I didn't know it was coming in yesterday, so I wasn't planning to do a makeup tutorial at all. I had set up for something completely different, and then uh, when the mailman brought it, I had just finished my brows, so I just wiped off the MAC Select cover-up so I could uh, do this video for you guys instead of the base. As you can see, I'm patting it as I go along. That's how you set this product, and it's not something you're going to go on top of with like a translucent powder or something after to set it you just apply it and pat it and I am liking that it has a matte finish and I do like this shade as you can see I just went over it briefly with a blending brush to make sure everything was smooth before I start applying my eyeshadows so first I'm going in with pure from the morphe 3502 palette this is like my favorite um, highlight shade I'm applying this first like underneath the arch of my brow and also in the inner corner of my eye and then I'm going in with Chickadee, and this is on a Morphe, oh gosh, what is the name of this brush? I think it's the M5, okay, I don't really know, it's going to be in the description box. <laughs> but it's a really, really big, fluffy blending brush. Then I noticed I could still see some of my brow hairs. I'm in that, like, that awkward growing up my brow stage, so I tried to cover it up more with the base. Then I'm taking that shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe um, eyeshadow palette, and I'm blending it out a little lower in my crease. And then I'm touching up Chickadee just a little bit with that same large fluffy blending brush. Then I'm taking that darker shade that I showed you guys on a Zoliva brush and I'm blending it out lower in my crease. Um, at first I was thinking that maybe I was going to do like a reddish, berry-ish, smoky eye situation. So that is what I am moving towards originally in this tutorial and that is why I'm now carving out a little space with some more of the base and blending it out. Um, this <laughs> stuff right here is not necessary for the overall look that I decided to go with. So as you can see, like I took some of like the NYX Vivid Brights, um, it's like a cream color base, and then I went over it with like a reddish blush, because again, I was moving towards like a reddish smoky eye, and then midway through, my girl Pammy DMs me on Snapchat, and she's like, oh yeah, I've been hearing lots of great stuff about the base, and that people are loving it for cut creases and glitter. And that just kind of stuck in my head, cut, crease, glitter, y'all know those are some of my favorite words. <laughs> so I decided to pause, um, clean up the top of my brows with the ColourPop concealer. I believe this is in the shade Deep Golden. And then I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and carve out this crease and um, do a glitter eye look. So that is what I decided to do. I'm taking more of the base and just sort of carving out my lid. And then I'm going on top of it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette, the shade, I believe that was Sultry. And then I'm just sort of uh, darkening the outer V with Mulberry and Noir. I believe that's how it's pronounced. So then I mixed a couple of glitters that I have from superglitters.com and applied them with the um, NYX Glitter Primer. And I'm just placing that everywhere that I placed the eyeshadow in the carved out lid area and then I lined my upper lash line. Off camera I did um, my makeup underneath my eyes and I'm just wiping away the fallout. I also put some white liner in my waterline as well. 
So now I'm taking the P. Louise base and I am using it as sort of a corrector. So instead of using like an orange color corrector, I'm applying the base underneath my eyes and I'm going to apply it around my mouth and just any areas of darkness or dark spots that I want to cover up. Now I will say that, like I said, this dries down to a matte finish and it also is kind of tacky so it just sort of grabs whatever is on top. So that made it a little bit difficult to blend out with this particular brush and also when I put the rest of my face makeup on top of these areas, I felt like there was some tugging going on and I think it's because of the gripping action that I talked about and because it is so matte. I will mention that. However, comma, <laughs> the, my makeup did look really great um, underneath my eyes and stuff in the areas where I had applied the base as a corrector. So I think this is something that I will continue to do like when I'm doing a really glam look though. Anyways, right now I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC45 um, to highlight my face as you guys saw and I'm blending it out and this is the point where I'm noticing like okay it's a little tough to blend out, there's some tugging happening so that's why I switched brushes and then now I'm just going back with my foundation brush just to blend my foundation more into the highlight and then I'm setting those highlighted areas with a mix of the Sacha Buttercup Loose Setting Powder and the Laura Mercier um, Loose Powder in Medium Deep. By the way, the foundation that I used was the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC50. Can't remember if I said that. Anywho, so now I'm warming up my face. I'm using an angled cheek brush and the Black Radiance um, Contour Powder Palette. And I took the darker shade to contour. And then I'm just cleaning up my contour using my Morphe um, Bare Blending Sponge and a little bit more of that Sacha Powder. Now I'm taking the skin tone shade from that Black Radiance palette and just going over the highlighted areas just to restore like that skin tone color. And then I'm taking the Studio Fix powder, hold on, I've switched shades. <laughs> so instead of NC55, I now use NW43 and I just went all over my face with that again just to continue restoring that skin tone color. So I was looking a little powdery, so I went in with the... Um, the MAC Fix Plus spray and while my face was still wet from that I went in with my highlighter which was the Ofra Cosmetics Nikki Tutorials collab I believe the shade is called Everglow and then I'm adding a little orange blush which is a brown girl's best friend <clears throat> oh my goodness it's like first thing in the morning when I'm doing this voiceover so if my voice sounds a little off that is why <laughs> I'm going in with the LeBron's Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder from their Jackie Ina collab just adding that on top of my highlighter and then to set my face I'm using the Skin Denavia Bridal Setting Spray. On my lips I'm using the NYX Espresso Lip Liner which is a dupe for Chestnut Lip Liner from MAC and this lip liner is like $3. You're welcome. <laughs> then I'm using the NYX Lip Lingerie and the shade Dust to Dawn on top. And then I'm going in with Bow Lip Gloss from MAC. And that's it. So if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. You can catch me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I'm Fly Fierce Fab on all those platforms. And girl, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, I'm going to need you to go on ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And you might as well check out a couple other videos while you're here. You know, I'm just saying. Thanks for watching. See you next time and stay snatched.